There is always a way to make a melody or a phrase sound more colorful. And one of the things that I really like to do is to add one more note to the melody. Just think about the first three notes I played. I was playing the note D, E, and F. It's basically a D minor scale, so I'm playing the first three notes of the D minor scale. But instead of playing just the single notes, I actually added one additional note on the D string. So it's indeed such a simple approach, but it works all the time, especially if you're playing uh, in a kind of a slow melody such as this one. So I thought that in this video I will show you a few ideas and how it is done, how I did it, so that hopefully you can get inspired and you can start implementing more of this approach into your playing. Now first things first, we are in the key of D minor, so we need to learn the D minor scale, but I want you to learn the scale on just one string. In this example, it's the B string. So we have D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and D. Now the next step is quite interesting. We're gonna use the same set of notes starting from the note F, and we're gonna put the note F under the note D. So we're gonna have D, and then F at the bottom. So we've got two notes now. And we're gonna do the same thing now from the note F, we're gonna follow the D minor scale and add um, an additional note to each note of the D minor scale. So we have F and D, G and E, A and F, B flat and G, C and uh, A, D and B flat, E and C, and back to the F and D. Now this is quite of a popular interval on the guitar. It's a major sixth when we play it like this, and a minor sixth when we play it like this. So you got major, major, minor, major, major, minor, minor and major. Of course, we're gonna use a nice and lovely chord progression in the key of D minor. We have the D minor chord, uh, the G minor chord, or the G minor seven, C major, F major, B flat major, and back to the G minor seven, A minor seven, and back to the D minor seven. So it's a nice and you know slow chord progression. You can really do a lot uh, over these chords. Now let me show you the first phrase, which I really really like. Uh, it sounds like this. I'm holding a pick, but I'm also uh, plucking the strings with the fingers. Depends, you know, the type of tone that I want to that I want to get. And I'm gonna start with this nice sixth. So three, five, and then seven and six. And then I have some kind of an answer to this first phrase. I have a slide from eight to ten, then back to eight and six and a slide from five to seven, and back to the front number five. It's a nice and melodic phrase. Now the second phrase is also really interesting and it has the same structure. We're gonna start with the sixth. And then a quick phrase. And then a quick phrase. It's a nice and lovely thing to play. Uh, you got fret five, and then fret number seven and six, and fret number eight, twice. And then I have this bending on the B string, fret number 10, just half step, 
and back to the fret number 10 and the fret number 8 you can actually kind of slide into it and the fret number 6 twice I really, really like this phrase uh, and I like the bending as well now the next phrase is really interesting because it's entirely played with um, this sixth and it sounds like this So I have um, D fret number 3, 5, 7 and 6, twice, and then we're going to start the next section with the same interval. So I play that again, 8, 10, and then 14 and 13. It's a nice interesting phrase. And then I have um, a single note phrase, which is played on the uh, B string, fret number 13, 15, and the fret number 12, and then just a few more notes. So I have 13 and 12, and the fret number 15, and I finish with three more notes. A fret 12, I slide into it, 10 and 12 on the D string. Now the second section is played with the same concept, but we're gonna change set of strings. And now we're gonna play the sixth on the E string and the G string. So the concept is the same and the um, interval is the same. And we have, we have the fret number 10 now. We're gonna start with 10 and 10, 12 and 12, and uh, 14 and 13, twice. And then I have a melodic phrase. So I'm playing uh, the fret number 13 and 13. So I have two strings on the 13th fret, 15, 17, 15, and uh, 13, and 12. It's a really nice and melodic phrase. And then we have the same concept here. Very simple phrase and really, really melodic. So I have um, fret number uh, 9 and 8, 10 and 12, twice. And then a very simple phrase. On 13, I slide into this note, 12, and fret number 10. It's kind of pretty simple. And then we're going to do the same thing, uh, but starting from D fret number uh, six, so I have six and seven. It sounds like this. So I have seven and six, and a nine and eight, and then for number ten, twice, and then I'm gonna do it again. So ten, twelve and fourteen and thirteen, and then I'm gonna slide from uh, 15 to 17 and the fret number 12 as well. It's a really nice phrase, it works great on the A minor chord. And then the last one, which is this one. Now I'm using the D minor scale. I have fret number 13, 12 and 10. And then just the pentatonic, the D minor pentatonic. Now let me give you one more section just played with a different chord progression. We open up with the B flat. And then C major with the B flat on the bass. A minor 7. And D minor 7. 
then the G minor 7, A minor 7, and back to the D minor. So in this section, I really wanted to play a little bit more, and I'm going to play uh, the D minor scale in sixth, uh, descending, like this. So it's basically the same scale. We are just uh, playing it uh, from the D. So we have front number 10, and then we have front number 9, 9 to 8, 7 and 6, 5, 3, and 2 and 1. And then we change set of strings. And we have 5, 3, and 5. It's a really nice approach. And then we can just, you know, play a nice and melodic phrase. Which I really, really like. Just a few notes. Five and six. And then the front number nine with a slide. And then four more notes on seven, seven, five, and six. And then we're going to do the same uh, sixth, same phrase. And we finish with just a few notes. So seven, five, seven. And five and six. And seven. So it's a great way to combine, you know, these lovely uh, sixth with single notes as well. So if you have been playing the same phrases and the same melodies for a while, this is a great uh, trick that you can use to kind of add more color to the things that you already know. Of course, guys, take it step by step. Enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you next time.